I walked two days and said, all right, I know what I need now. And then I walked two weeks and said, all right, I know what I need now. And now it's been two months and I, I think I know what I need now. <laughs> His name is Carl Wentworth from Worcester, Massachusetts. He walked into the National Museum of the Marine Corps one chilly January afternoon. His journey is to walk, as he would say, from sea to shining sea. But his mission is to bring awareness to veterans. You know, when I started, I said, I, I want to raise a million dollars for the Wounded Warrior Project. I, th I think it's a great, um, great cause. And um, if, I could, if I could raise a million for that, that, that would be really nice. Wentworth says anyone who wants to support his cause should go online and donate to any veteran cause on behalf of Carl Wentworth Walking for Heroes. Carl's journey has taken some twists and turns. He started this trek in Castle Island, Massachusetts back on Veterans Day. After visiting the museum, he continued south to North Carolina, but the 2014 winter weather forced him to hole up until the snow broke. From there, he turned southwest, getting help from passersby along the way new boots from a military surplus store in South Carolina, a new rain jacket in Georgia, a new tent in Alabama. As summer draws near, <laughs> probably some sunscreen in Texas. He walks an average of 20 miles per day and hopes to reach Los Angeles by the 4th of July. For Carl Wentworth, bringing awareness to veterans is something he believes he can do, one step at a time. God bless America, and if I could just say one more thing to the American people, I'm walking down the road, please get off your telephone. <laughs> to find out more about Carl Wentworth's journey, you can go to his Facebook page, Walking for Heroes. Denny Hostetter, National Museum of the Marine Corps Public Affairs, Triangle, Virginia.